And right off the bat, you need an appointment, no walk-ins, and you should expect to wait outside or in your car until your stylist is ready for you. It's going to be different. The goal is to be touchless, except for your hair. Obviously, everything's going to be so different now. Um, we're going to have one client coming in at a time. We will um, probably pitch that front door open a little bit so people don't have to be grabbing it. We're going to be cleansing. We all have our PPE ready to go. Here at Viani and Clark, the disinfectants are lined up, appointments are staggered, and clients will be safely spaced, whether at the sink or in the chair. And if you feel a little rushed when you're done, it's for your own safety and the customer behind you. You know, we have to clean our stations ourselves. You know, anything that potentially anyone could have touched Customers also need to wear a mask, try to pay ahead of time if possible, know that there is no waiting or changing areas, and no food or drinks. It's, it's going to be hard to get used to that part where it's like, okay, let's just do your hair and, you know, that's it. But yeah, you know, for now, that, that's just the new normal. Unfortunately, that's the way we're going to have to be. At least we all get some hair help, finally. As for tips, some stylists are accepting them via the pay site Venmo. Uh, Bionni and Clark is also offering small envelopes for cash. We're live in Newton. I'm Mary Salat on WCDB News Center 5. All right, Mary, thank you. Dog groomers are set to reopen on Monday, and things will look different there, too. We talked to the owner of Clip and Dip in Natick. She says she'll come out to the car to get your dog. She plans to wear gloves, a mask, and use her own leash. And once your pet is inside, he or she will be immediately washed and and there will only be six appointments per day.